Okay, he's down. There we go. Awesome, we finally completed a quest. Man, it took a whole freaking episode to complete a quest, but hey, we got it done. Um, all right, so did we get anything for doing that? So let's take a look at our inventory. We did not get shit for doing that. Okay, now we have to find a hunting knife to do this all over again. All right, well, one very tiny step in the right direction. I mean, just a tiny, minuscule, microscopic step in the right direction. That's what that was. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, Horde Night 7 is just about ready to start. Uh, so we're just going to hunker down here in the top of this building in open prey that <laughs> it holds up. Uh, from everything I've heard, uh, even Horde 7 on Raven Nurse <clears throat> is, uh, is pretty intense. So uh, we're just going to see you know what happens here. I'm just going to hunker down. Uh, my plan is to keep the recorder running, but you know, best case scenario, nothing crazy happens. And if that's the case, I probably will just... I meet you guys in the morning, but of course, if something crazy does happen, then I will catch it on camera and show it to you. So I'll keep you with me for a little while here, uh, just for the start of it, so we can kind of get a sense for what might be happening down there based upon the noises <laughs> that we hear. Um, so yeah, it's a <clears throat> it's kind of a situation for those of you who might be watching this video for the first time or this series for the first time. Uh, I just was not able to advance uh, far enough along in the first seven days of Ravenhurst to even attempt to try and take on the Horde to fight it in any way, shape, or form. So we're really just, like I said, hunkering down up here and hoping for the best. Now, um, one of you guys told me in the comments that... Here, let me get my inventory up here. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't have a... I don't have an axe. You were telling me that if you break these chests, you actually pick them up and then can reuse them. And uh, can I do that with this? Yeah, I guess I can. It's going to take a little longer than it would with an axe. Plus, I have no stamina. And I, I'm i only at half health, too. So, yeah, we're in pretty bad shape. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll just see. You know, I mean, this is a pretty stout building. Um, so, we'll just see if the horde is actually bad enough on day seven here in Ravenhurst to bring this building down. Honestly, I mean, I don't know what to expect because I've never seen a horde in Ravenhurst, but I'd have to say I'd be kind of surprised if, I, if a seven-day horde can do it. But, you know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. Um, oh, my God, the stamina is so bad right now. So, yeah, we're hungry, too, so that's definitely affecting our stamina. And I have nothing, nothing to eat. Yeah, this uh, this whole Ravenhurst playthrough has just been one uphill battle, man. I'll tell you what, it really has. And part of it's just been me not knowing exactly what to do. But you know, as we go along, I'm you know I'm learning and getting better. Uh, the key, you know, the key to this mod, um, I found it. Okay, so see, I just got wood from that. I didn't get an actual chest, so I don't know. I must have misunderstood what somebody was saying, or they've changed it, or. I was being trolled. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the key the key to this mod when you're starting out is to follow the quests. And, you know, that's that's not obvious. It's not obvious to me because questing the Seven Days to Die has always been kind of a side thing. It's never really been the main way to play the game, at least not for me, like I said. It's always been a sandbox game. Just kind of do whatever the hell you want. Go build places, loot, get ready for the Seven Day Hordes, that sort of thing. But I've never thought of the quests of this game to be the main way to play it right and so it took me a little while to to kind of figure out that that's what you need to do here in Ravenhurst to uh to advance because you really can't advance without doing that all right so anyway um you know it sounds like we have a fair you know a decent amount of zombos i have the zombie set to 32 the blood moon set to 32 zombos but i'm not hearing any cops or anything that sounds like super super bad so you know based upon the noises that i am hearing i i don't think this is a really gnarly horde and so probably we're gonna be okay tonight i i like i said i'd just be really surprised if there's enough zombies and enough bad zombies down there like you know the really nasty stuff to actually bring this place down 
Um, I could, we could maybe go out and take a peek, but we're not going to really be able to see anything. Plus, I don't want to take the chance of getting hit by a vulture anyway. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is just let the recorder run. And if nothing noteworthy happens, I will bring you guys back uh, in the morning. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so hopefully I'll see you in the morning safe and sound. All right, guys, it's almost morning and <clears throat> have spent uh, an uneventful night here. Uh, never at any point in time that I really hear the building sounding like it was going to come down. Uh, I did spend part of the evening taking down all the beds and store shelving and suitcases, anything I could easily break with the pick. Uh, but this stuff uh, just takes too long to do with the pick. Anything wood and cardboard. And um, I, I didn't want to, you know, wear out the durability on my pick. So we got, um, we got a little bit of iron here, 323 pieces. Uh, I also noticed that there was um, a hidden stash in the wall here with, you know, the little plug covering. And in that we got um, uh, Machine Gunner Volume 7. Uh, we can craft M60s, which is awesome. I don't know, it's probably not going to be that easy, though, <laughs> here in Ravenhurst. Uh, let's scrap that stuff, too. And um, I got a point. I got a point. So let's take a look at that uh, from, you know, doing all that scrapping. So let's go here. And so what do we need to put our next point into? I'm thinking, let's see, I can't even remember what we were focusing on before. I think we were, weren't we working on agility or was it strength? I can't remember. Um, let's see. Where's the one that helps with your food and water. I think that's in, is that intellect? Um, strength is master chef. It's fortitude. So I think it's, um, iron, iron gut. So this is going to reduce food and water loss by 5% and chance of dysentery is reduced by 1%. I don't know. You know, food is such an issue and we're still not at the point where it's no longer an issue. I'm going to turn my little fan off there. It's probably creating some background noise. I mean, you can see that we're already starving here, and pretty soon that's going to become a dangerous problem. So this could help with that a little bit. Um, chance of dysentery is reduced by 1% bus from consumers last 10% longer. Reduce food and water loss from physical by 5%. Yeah, I mean, hmm, I don't know. I, it's definitely useful. It's just, is that the, the most important thing I should be doing right now is the question. We already got a uh, master chef. We got sexual Tyrannosaurus. Um, we did need the farming. Uh, let's go back here for a second. Living off the land. We needed farmer in order to actually m start working on a farm. And that's going to help with food too, of course. Uh, so that requires fortitude level three. And we currently only have level two. Yeah, let's, let's go that route. Let's go that route. Uh, I think this is, yeah, disabled just because we're starving. So, okay. Yeah, we're going to get fortitude to three. Or if we find, uh, I think it's the tough guy sunglasses to give us an extra fortitude buff. If that's the case, if we find those, you know, uh, then we can go that route. Okay, so we've got to get out of here safely. Um, and we still have zombies around, but they're no longer running. So let's pop this up here. And, yeah, I mean, we're, we're in such bad shape right now because we're starving. I, I used the last of my um, my uh, soda pops just to try and keep my hydration from going into the red, but that's going to go into the red pretty soon, too. Where? We put a ladder up somewhere. Where the hell did we do it? I think it's over here, right? Yeah. Okay, so we just got to get down and get away from the Zeeks and then, uh, you know, head back to our base on top of the booby trap and then kind of assess our next move here. So it looks like in general, <laughs> nice one, Edgar. In general, it looks like the building, at least on the outside, is in, in really good shape, actually. I mean, I don't see any major block damage out here. Uh, it's because, you know, most of them spent all the time inside, so I'm sure there's some internal 
uh, or rather interior walls that are banged up a bit. But uh, overall, the structure is actually in pretty good shape. Now that horde, I didn't see the horde, right? But it doesn't sound like it was anything, you know, more than just your normal seven-day horde uh, from, ba you know, based upon the sound. So I wasn't really concerned, you know, about the place coming down overnight. Okay, well, anyway, let's get back to the uh, our other base and... I do have some loot in those bags, which I don't know, did I put those? I must have put those on the other side of the building. But I'll worry about that stuff later. I just need to get away from these guys and see if there's anything we can possibly do for food and water um, once we get back here. And, I, you know, it's been a, a few days since I recorded the last episode, so I'm not entirely sure <laughs> where where I'm at with all this. So i got to kind of reacclimate myself. Um, things have gotten a eased up just a little bit for me, by the way, in, in real life. So hopefully I can get back to getting, you know, a couple episodes out a week of Ravenhurst. I'm definitely not in, in a place where I'm going to be able to do daily videos. Uh, probably, oh shit, no, probably not going to be able to actually do that for quite some time. Um, plus I have an Osiris series going and I'm still doing Conan live streaming and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see, but I'll try and, you know, I'll try and get, you know, a couple Ravenhurst out a week in the next, you know, in the coming weeks anyways. Okay, so, oh my god, what are we doing here? So let's take a look and see what's in here. Uh, we don't have anything going on in there. Let's look in our food thing. So we don't really have anything substantial here that we can do. There's nothing safe that we can drink there. Yeah, we're just, we're just in really bad shape right now with food. How much coin do I have? Just looking to see what's in there. I know, you're starving. Okay, we got some coin here. Uh, we can check vending machines. The thing is, is those, I don't think the vending machines actually reset, or if they do, maybe they don't reset for a much longer period of time than daily, which in theory I'm okay with because it, I mean, they shouldn't really reset at all, but then again, nothing should reset. And you know, I have my settings set up that way. So if I loot something, it's looted because that's just not realistic, but vending machines, even when you on that setting still normally reset every day. So I don't know, that doesn't seem to be the case here. So it looks like I didn't get any inventory management done the last time because we probably ran out of time. I just don't remember. So I'm going to drop all this stuff off here and worry about it later. We will keep the, we will keep this with us. Uh, looks like our bow is pretty much shot and probably not even worth repairing. So yeah, let's just toss it. Put that in there. The feathers can go in there. Uh, we do have a super crap bow right here. Okay, so I guess, I guess the thing to do is just keep working on our quest. I mean, what else can I do? If we die of starvation, we die of starvation. Um, that's just the way it is. Okay, so let's look at our quest here. We need to, so we're looking for beer for this. Um, this is the stuff that we need to make the forge plate and the casting tunnel. Those were the two hard things. Oh yeah, this water filter thing. What was our stopping point here? I think it was the burning barrel. I think we needed to get forged iron to make the burning barrel to make this. And we can't make forged iron because we can't craft the forge yet. The farm table we can't make until we're farming level three. So that's kind of where we're at with all of this. So I guess we can get beer. We can keep trying to kill Zombos with bladed weapons. We're getting close to that, but man, with my stamina and health down, that's a pretty risky endeavor at this point in time. Um, all right, let's look at the casting tunnel and the forging plate again. Those were the two things that were going to be really hard to do. Um, really? Wait a minute, what? We just need two pipes for that? Oh, maybe I'm out of two pipes. Uh, I must be out of two pipes. Okay, so that means we need to take apart some toilets. Okay. Um, the one thing I could do for food is I could go gather a bunch of insects, but man, it just takes such a long time to get enough. It doesn't give you much food, and we continue to 
reduce our hydration and nutrition because of the exertion. There's a lot of shuns in that little phrase, wasn't there? So I don't even know if it's worth it to try and do that, you know? Um, yeah, we're just we're just in really bad shape right now. That's just all there is to it, man. It's the bottom freaking line. <laughs> Such bad shape. Okay, well, let's see. So if we could come up with some pipes, we could make that casting tunnel. Uh, the advanced bellows is going to also require pipes and more leather, so we could do some hunting. We need to go hunting anyways for food. Um, and then what was the other thing that we needed for the forge that was weird? Um, a forging plate. Forging plate. See, that needs forged iron too. So, geez louise. Okay, well, here, let's, um, let's go look for beer. Let's go ahead and... I, do, I just don't know if we should even try to kill a zombie right now. I'm going to run out of stamina real quick. One or two hits and I'm dead. I don't know. That might be a blessing in disguise, but I'm not the kind of player that will just give up and die automatically either. So we're not going to do that. Um, we need to find some toilets for pipes. That's what we need to do. So let's do that now. And we have to stay away from these yahoos. So hmm, let's go this way. We haven't really gone north very much. See, I can't even hardly run without running out of stamina. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, so beer and pipes. I think those are the two main things that we're going to be looking for here. What is this? In a televised interview aired last night, the president was asked about the lone wolves and their recent string of attacks on moccasin pharmaceuticals. The president called the motorcycle group a group of terrorists and vowed to bring them to justice. The lone wolves recently made headlines when they firebombed two of the moccasin warehouses as well as tried to kidnap Mackison's CEO, Macabriel. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Guess we'll take that. So, yeah, let's go kind of north-ish and circle around and try and get away from this larger group of Zikaruskis. And then uh, we got to find some toilets. we got to find some bear. We never did complete go through the drive-in place right next door because every time I've tried to do it I get rushed by the Zeeks but let's go back over there again and see if we can hop inside and find some food and if there's a toilet or two in there we might be able to get some pipes I don't know if, if I if I take a sink apart with my pick does that give me uh, the possibility of getting pipes, I don't remember if it does or not. Yeah, there's a ton of zombos right around in here. There's a workbench. Any chance it actually works? Oh, you know what I should have done is made an axe, damn it. Alright. Well, I guess we could do that since our place is right here again. Let's run back over there and make an axe really quick. I want to pop up open that window and see if that workbench works because man that would be a huge boon if we could actually find a working workbench let's also see did this any chance at all that this reset N oh we have beer let's buy that yeah let's buy that i don't remember how many beers we needed i think it was just one so we might as well spend money on that because what else are we going to do with it right now? Aside from finding a, a fresh vending machine. Okay, so we were supposed to... Oh, that's over here. We were supposed to fill this thing with beer. Uh, oh, do we have to... Whoops. Do I have to put the beer here? No. <laughs> Just drink it. Oh shit. What was it? It doesn't what am I supposed to do? Press was I supposed to press E? Or right click? Ah oh, shit. It should tell you that. <laughs> I just drank the beer. Okay, well we got a little hydration back and a and a nice buzz to boot, and then probably gonna get a hangover later. <sighs> Alright, when do we need to make an axe? 
let's make ourselves an axe here. Um, stone axe. So we need cordage, stone tool head, and primitive handle. There's stone. Uh, I thought I had... There's a handle. There, there's, actually, there's stone in here. I got all, stone all over the place. Let's grab that. Cordage. There's cordage. And there's more sticks, too. Okay. So for the stone, we need to make sharpened stone. Uh, I don't know how many of those we need. Let's just make two. All right. Now for... Let's make the primitive handle. Uh... We must, we must be missing something else. Here, let's go tool head. This one. Oh, we need five sharp stones. Yeah, right. That bullshit. Five to make one. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that will forever bug me about this game. And that's something that Jax could have fixed in the mod too and he didn't. What the hell, man? Okay, um let's see. Sharp stone tool head. There we go. Okay, so let's craft the axe tool head. And then make the axe itself. It'll be quality 47, which means it isn't gonna last very long, but hopefully it'll get us get us going. Okay. Let's head back over and see if we can actually get that uh, luck out and have a working tool bench. That would be fantastic if we could. Just waiting for my stamina to come back. Can this guy catch me if I'm just walking? Oh shit, he can. Okay, he is fast. Why is he so damn fast? He's supposed to be in walk mode. Bullshit. You can't catch me while I'm walking, can you? No. Come on, stamina. Yeah, there, there's no friggin' way I can fight a zombie right now with the shape that I'm in. A couple of hits and my stamina would be gone and then I wouldn't be able to get away from him and it would be all over but the crying. Okay, now let's break this. Come on, stamina. It doesn't work, son of a bitch. Okay, and I don't think, I don't think we can take that apart with a pick and get uh, iron. If, if we had a wrench, we could. Okay, well, let's go. It just zombies are all over the place, man. They're relentless. <laughs> They're fucking relentless. Okay, I'd like to get in there, but we just it's just not gonna happen when they're all over the place, you know. See if I can draw some of them away. I have a few arrows, but I kind of want to save those for hunting. If we come across a, you know, a deer or something. I think that's the... Isn't that uh, Vic's Pond and Loan or whatever it's called place? Oh, is there going to be another tool bench in here? I, I'm wondering... I, oh, there's a bag here. I couldn't say for sure, but... I'm wondering if I read in the patch notes that um, nothing in the world works crafting stations. Could be imagining things, I don't know. 
I have to tell you guys, man, this mod is hands down the most difficult mod I've played in this game. This start is just, it's so freaking brutal. Okay, I got a Zikaru there. Just kind of looking around the back here. Nothing in there. Okay. Let's head out the back way. We could try and hit the secret stash in the dumping lung. Except for I, I think Zombos could get up there. Maybe they can't. I don't know. Let's uh, let's test that theory. We get up here. Can she follow us? Have to turn around and back up. Oh, she doesn't even know where. Does she know we're here? She's coming up that way. Okay, so for this to work, we've got to... We actually have to put a frame down so we stop sliding. Oh! How did she get up there? She must have climbed up on this thing or something. Okay, turn around. Uh. We needed to get up a little higher than that. Can I back up it? Yeah. Oh, shit. What? It made this sound like, well, you know what? This is too, she's going to be able to get up there anyway. I think this is too risky. Okay, let's keep going. I, don't, I feel like I'm not making very much progress today, you guys. <laughs> That's because I'm not. We're prob what's probably going to have to happen is, I hate to say it, but we're probably going to have to die of starvation just to, you know, at least reset that. Um, You know, go from there. I mean, I'm not deliberately making that happen, but kind of getting to the point where I'm not going to be able to do much about it one way or the other. I'll just keep checking these garbages. I know I can pick them up, but... I have an abundance of storage. I just have a lot of it. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's that place. We we might check that out at some point if we ever actually can get a foothold. Uh, right now, toilets would be very useful to, to come across for pipes. Let's go around this way. Okay. There's nobody directly behind. Should we try and get in here? Where's my, um... What happened to my... Oh, here they are. My barricades. Oh, you're kind of creepy looking. Let's help her out a little bit. So I want to make sure nothing sneaks up behind me. Come on. Get that door broken. There you go. Okay. That should theoretically be enough to... Okay. If we rip this off before she breaks it, then it becomes usable again. A little bit of a hack, maybe? I don't know, but... There, she's dead. Is she dead? Yeah, she's dead. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. 
We're still safe out here, right? Okay. Oh, shit. No, I couldn't get it down in time. Yeah, I really don't want to fight these guys out here because I don't have the stamina to do it. Let's see if we can get away from them and circle back around. Oh, there's a vending machine in front of Vix. Let's check it really quick. These sometimes have food in them. Oh, look at those textures on that. It's just beautiful. All right, there's beverage. Guess we already checked that one at one point. Is this... Oh, that doesn't even work. Okay. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's circle back around here and go back to the other building. See if we can lose these yahoos. Check these trashes. So here's the thing, guys. I mean, I, I have the two things to drink, right? So there's two schools of thought here. Drink. And still die from starvation. <laughs> and waste those two uh, beverages that I could put to use after I die and come back. Oh, son of a bitch. Or just hang on to them. Bite the dust and then I'll have them when I come back to life. Later. Oh, God, you're just Get away from me. I probably shouldn't have done that. Now he's in fast mode. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's been decided for a son of a bitch. I, have, I have to tell you that I have not ever played a mod this hard before on this game. It's just, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. Um, okay, so this will spawn on the bed. Hmm. Okay, so we're back to full health, and we are at half food and half water. So we bought ourselves a tiny bit of time, but not not a ton. Oh, don't be falling off there. Okay, let's go run back and get our stuff. The struggle is real. It is absolutely real. Stay away from me, darling. You ugly. <laughs> she sure is. And the first time I saw her updated models, like, oh my god, that's just nightmarish. It's funny too, because I was actually it was at the very like I was I was like an episode one, maybe two, of Alpha 19, right when it first came out. Experimental, I think. And I was up in an attic. It was all dark and stuff. It was nighttime. And she comes around the corner and just scares the bejeebus out of me. It was just funnier and I'll get out. Okay, so let's grab everything back out of here. Thank God this game puts your stuff back on your toolbar. There's a couple other games out there that could follow suit on that, man. All right, well, we've got most of our stamina pool back. Not all of it. So I guess we could... Yeah, I, I still don't know if I want to try and kill these guys, though. I think I'd like to ditch them and then try and get in that building. We can just get to a few toilets, you know. We can get some pipes and then at least proceed a little bit from there. I don't suppose taking that apart with a pick would get us pipes, would it? See, that's the other thing, too, is I can't... I have to be careful. I have to be judicious about what I use my tools on because of the whole durability factor. You know, my iron three level 300 iron pick is already down to about 40% durability, which isn't good. Oh, see, now you fuckers are around. I'm trying to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the place. They're just all over the place. Okay, let's just leave this whole group behind, run over here. I'll bet, oh, you know what? I'll bet there's a bunch of toilets in this motel. That's an idea. 
That must have been where a car exploded. Okay, let's do this. Let's um let's draw this group off and circle back around and see if we can get in those motel rooms. Okay, I think we actually made it back over here without a bunch of Zeeks around. Now we might have to deal with sleepers, but as long as we can get one at a time, we should be able to do that. So what we're after is toilets. Oh shit. Okay, let's put one of these down. Come over here, boys and girls. Nice. Are we still safe otherwise? Alright, we're out of stamina. Hopefully he's got enough of a bleed effect on him to drop. Okay, good. Now, anybody coming this way? No. We're good so far. Alright, let's pick this back up. Do here is we're gonna I'm gonna block that. Anybody coming this way? Okay. Here, let's quickly take this apart. Uh, we should probably search it first. No, I don't care about shit. I know, I know we're gonna need it later, but oh come on, stamina! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. We took a big whack there. All right, how did that guy get in? Did he break our barricade? Yeah, he did. Okay, did we not even get a pipe out of that? I don't, I couldn't tell because I was busy running from zombos. Yes, we did. Okay, we did get a pipe out of that. Good. Uh, let's get rid of the shit and get rid of a couple other things just because we're in... Oh, shit! Cumbered right. <laughs> in cover right now. Well, it didn't take long for them to gang up on us again, did that? Son of a... Ronnie McDonough, you're moving fast. What's the deal with these zombies? They act like they're in enraged mode when I haven't even tagged them. Does that just, do some of them just randomly all of a sudden enrage for no provoked reason? Is that what the deal is? I don't know. He's moving way faster than him and I haven't, I haven't done anything to him. Okay, well, um, we know we can get two toilets with pipes in here. Um... But not when we have 10 zombies on our ass every time we try to do it. Okay, so I think Marlene's the only zombie around. Let's just try and kill her. Okay, that's five hits. Now let's just get away from her. Let the bleeds take her out. Okay. So we dealt with her. Now, there is a vending machine over here. And I did kill a chicken earlier, too. So we could go back and make bacon and eggs. We need to... Oh, shit. Okay, that vending machine doesn't work. He's going to wake up. That one doesn't work either. I'm surprised he's not waking up. All right, we'll definitely take that stuff. Nothing. I 
as well get a sneak damage bonus on him. Oh, he's angry. Okay, we gotta be careful with this one. The nice thing about this attack is it staggers him too, so it buys you just a little extra time. If I took an air conditioner apart with the pick, would I get a pipe? I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, he's got six bleed applications. That should be enough to kill him. Let's just stay away from him. Okay. Let's just try this and see what happens. I've never really taken these apart with a pick. I always use a wrench. No, we just got screws and iron. All right, your turn. Oh, shit. I'm not watching my stamina. It's going to get me killed. Let's back up. Get a little stamina here. Okay, good. She's back to walk mode. She's still bleeding. Do you even... Uh, maybe I don't need to apply five. That was only two. Hmm, okay. If that's the case, that would be good because then I can save durability on my, my bone ship. See, they're coming through those trees and I can't see them. All right, here, let's go this way. Let's go back down here. So we got sleepies in the new rooms is the problem there. Oh, is there anything in there? Oh, shit. <laughs> I just can't get away from these guys. It is impossible to get away from them. Maybe, maybe what we have to do is we just have to plain kill them all before we do anything else. Oh, look at that. Raw fish and can of miso. I'm going to take that right now. Nice. Raw fish. Yeah, they're just... Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do. I, I just, I need to kill them first. Rather than try, because the problem with trying to draw them off is you can, but then you run into another group, right? And so you wasted all that time running to try and ditch the first group, and then you hit another group, and then the first group in the meantime starts working its way back to you, and it's just a vicious cycle, man. It's a vicious cycle. All right, well, let's go. I'll tell you what. We've got, I don't know if I can cook the fish right now, but I can definitely make a bacon and eggs. And our food's starting to get to the point where it's going to start hitting the red again. So I think what we should do is go home, eat. And then after that, figure out what the next course of action is. We do have the one pipe. I don't remember. I think I needed two pipes to do that um, thing. Okay, let's hit her just once. And see if that's all we need to do to kill her. The bleed effect lasts for quite a long time. It's a pretty impressive, actually, if you think about it. Each time she makes that little grunting noise. Okay, so one application's not enough. What about two? I think we killed Arlene with two. Oh, shit. Now she's in fast mode. Okay, so we can kill a normal zombie with just two bleed applications. That's really good to know. I wish I would have known that sooner. Um, Yeah, that's very good to know. Okay, that helps. That helps significantly, in fact. Let's test this out on Ronnie McDonnie. Now, the other question I guess I have is, do two bleed attacks stack? Let's hit him twice in fairly close succession and see if that's all we need to do. <coughs> I don't know if they stack or not. He's getting pissed now because he's bleeding out. Okay, so now that the bleeding stops, so I don't know. It's almost, I don't know if they stack or not. We definitely can kill a normal zombie in only two hits, though. We just have to wait. 
Yeah, you know what? The more I think about it, the more I'm going to say they don't stack. Because when I was hitting them five times, they would have died really quick if those stacked. So that is really good information to know. Okay, so we hit her once. And we wait for that bleed to wear off, and then we hit her another time. That's going to make killing these guys not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. The thing about the bleed, though, is it does, it does trigger their uh, rage mode. Each time it ticks, it has the potential to do that. Okay, she's done bleeding. I hit her once. And she should go down. Yep, okay, good. All right, well, that makes me happy, man. That really is going to help a lot. That means we can potentially kill these guys uh, in a group. It's, you know, it's going to take me a little while to do it, but once we eliminate them, then we can actually do something, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, let's get back to our uh, base here and get some bacon and eggs made and see if we can cook that fish because if we can cook that fish that's going to be amazing okay bacon and eggs and we can make grilled fish very nice okay cool that that might actually get us i mean I, it's not going to get us all the way but it might get us past the halfway point which means we're slightly better off than we were after we resurrected <laughs> I don't know how much this is going to give us, but here, let's eat this now. I don't, that gives us 24 food. Tasty grilled fish. Okay, um, that gives us only 10, but still, you know, I mean, it's, it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so that, I don't know if that's going to get us halfway. It might, we'll see. Okay, well, um, I'm going to drop stuff off here. What time of is it? It's through about 3.30 in the afternoon. Now, we needed pipes, uh, let's see, for this tunnel thing, for the forge, casting tunnel. Yeah, shit, we need two pipes. Okay. All right, well, let's put this pipe in here. We'll just drop all the extra stuff here. I'll sort it overnight as usual. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to drop those off, too. We don't need to keep that with us. I'm going to keep the money in case we run into a vending machine. You never know. Lucky goggles. What are we wearing? We're wearing agilities. Yeah, we better keep those on. Okay, well, um, now that we kind of know what's going on here uh, with the being able to kill these guys, maybe we do that. Maybe we kill them and finish our that first part of that quest so one tap run away let the bleed do its thing too bad it didn't stack though that would have been nice so it's a little bit of a slower way to kill him but it's it it works that's the thing especially within you know in regards to like the durability on the knife and all that okay so he's done bleeding one more tap And he should go down here in about five seconds, I'm thinking. Yep. Okay. That makes me a happy camper. Let's take a look at our quest for that. Uh, we need to kill six more. Okay, let's do it. See, now Bo's a little bit tougher. So it might take three applications well i don't know i think it'll still take two it'll just take longer for him to drop on the second one that's my guess i'm just waiting to see if one of the bleed ticks is going to trigger his rage mode okay he's done second application yeah he's going to need a th oh shit what did i just do he's going to need a third application because he's a little stronger than the other ones that should kill him. Oh, wow. He was really close to dying, too. Okay. So, five more Zekers. Let's kill these bastards, man, and get that part of the quest done. Uh, we don't want a ton of them all at the same time, though. Well, actually, though, if 
I manage my stamina properly, we could apply multiple, you know, or, or the bleed on multiple Zeeks at the same time. Let's do it on two at a time. One for you, one for you. Okay, wait for them to bleed, uh, for the first application to bleed them down. Marlene just enraged, so we'll just watch our stamina and stain. Oh, look, we have a full stamina bar again. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, she's done, and you're done. You're done. That's what Cage likes to say. You're done. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> awesome, man. Okay, so that should just be three more Zeeks that we need to kill to finish this quest. Or four more. Okay. No, I can't count. I know. I failed math for a reason. Okay, one application on you. Bo's gonna need three. And let's get one on Ronnie McDonnie too. Okay. And then just... uh, let's not overdo it here. I gotta conserve stamina. So those three are bleeding. I mean, we'll hit the other ones too, but... Okay, let's grab you. That enraged bow is the one I hit first, I think. Alright, he's probably going to go down in a second. It's kind of hard to tell who I hit and who I didn't, right? Okay, he's done... He's done. Yet done. Okay. He should be going down in a second. I wish I wish I could see their health bars. Is there a setting in Ravenhurst that shows that? Like there are in some of the other mods? I'll have to look and see. Okay, so Ronnie McDonnie's dead. He just enraged. Let's pop you again. So remember, these guys take three. So one of them should be dropping by now, I would think. Man, you are just coming, aren't you? Gonna have to hit you another time. Let's get a little bit further out here. Oh, I think I think he would have dropped if I wouldn't even hit him. I don't know. Okay, he's down. There we go. Awesome, we finally completed a quest. Man, it took a whole freaking episode to complete a quest, but hey, we got it done. Um, all right, so did we get anything for doing that? Let's take a look at our inventory. We did not get shit for doing that. Fudge. Okay, now we have to find a hunting knife to do this all over again. Shit. Um, okay. Can I make a hunting knife? Probably not. Okay, um, <laughs> all right, well, one very tiny step in the right direction. I mean, just a tiny, minuscule, microscopic step in the right direction. That's what that was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, guys, we are out of time. In fact, we've probably gone way over, but I'm going to have to do some editing of this video. Um, we finally got our full stamina and health bar back. So we just we need to keep looking for pipes. We need to keep looking for beer. It's too bad I screwed that one up, but I just didn't know, right? And just keep keep on keeping on. The good news is now I know I can more easily kill these zombies. Um, it might take me a while to do it, but you know I can just cut most of that out, or at least time lapse or whatever for you guys. Uh, but if we can clear the zombies in an area to give us some breathing room so we can actually do some looting and stuff, that's just that's going to be a big game changer. So I'm kind of encouraged, I guess is the word, that I discovered that uh, here in this episode. So um, I'm going to probably just wait out the rest of this day um, before we start the next episode. We'll probably start uh, day nine. Well, I don't know. We, we still have a little bit of daylight left. I might just end here and then start the next episode 
and get as much done before nighttime. So we'll see how things go. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.